remember if you watch the debate um there was a por- part in the debate where they asked both both parties and so the, again not a political statement i just want to give yeah. you an idea of like it's okay you can make a political statement no no, no, but, no but, but it's important that it's not for the purpose of like, right. getting the point across because it's like being objective being yeah. objective right it's like what can we do what can we do as an objective statement mm-hmm. but everyone could be like you know like oh let's stop all this that's a normative statement or we you know the market will fix itself that's the other normative statement but I, I, to the question of why is it being swept under the, the rug both candidates were asked families are suffering they can't afford housing they have kids what are you going to do for them trump went on about i don't know what but did not answer that even touch the like yeah. not even touch the question it was like let me talk about this thing but bite into the same thing it was like uh, biden's golf handicap yes yeah, exactly <laughs> i think that was that one <laughs> And I think that's exactly that one. No way. It's like he's like he's like my you know my handicap. I'm like yeah we know, you know. <laughs> you are a good golf. We, we know. <laughs> you know I feel really bad. You know, but that's why it's being swept under the rug because candidates don't take it seriously or they're very they're very good at um, sideswiping these questions, right. which is a very serious question. Like someone like me, that's a very serious question. And I mean that that just that little portion of that told me that. The, the truth is nobody gives a fuck about middle class families trying to make it 100 nobody cares yeah and the other part of that is man it's like you know when they had the trust you guys did you guys learn about the trusts in the early like i think it was like the 1900s or late late 18, 1800s late 1800s yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys have you learned about that well, of course it's like these big companies that were like 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 oil were monopolies be, yeah, the oh monopolies. yes yeah, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. they yeah. call them like trust rockefeller yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah 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 so Part you have the, like yeah. the oil trust right, right which right. would be like the oil company that did like it was the oil. That did everything right 100%. it was the oil, standard oil yeah yeah it's the only oil you yeah, know what i mean yeah and then they had like railroads was one guy you know right. and then steel was one guy right and so that took time before they like people saw like oh this is gonna bite this is biting us in the ass now right. when it was in everyone's favor nobody complained right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But as soon as workers like wages decreased, workers wages decreased, standard uh, living, yep. yeah, all that stuff, yep. standard living, all that stuff decreased. Um, which again, go to what's happening in in Instagram because it's such a model. If you have already critical mass on, and I think I'm saying critical mass is the right thing. What I mean when I say that is we've got most of the people using our platform that are going to use it to get that extra hundred thousand people is is now cost prohibitive. Mm. So we don't even want to go after them. We yeah. have what we need to make money. Yeah. Now we're going to squeeze what's in here. We're going to squeeze whatever this juice is worth right. to get the last dime for I, what it's worth. I think the one of the other problems, you touched monetary policy, but also I think it's corporate greed in general. If you look at 1980 compared to 2024, adjusted for inflation, yeah. workers' wages have remained stagnant. Absolutely. After inflation, obviously. Absolutely. Adjusted for inflation. That's yeah. a big red flag should be and bernie sanders is the only guy i can think of that stood up for workers to his credit he has a lot of faults in his policies but everyone he's does, the yeah. only guy that's been standing up for like working families 100%. and advocating and, for and, them. W- and when he says that what is he called he's called a socialist he's called all this stuff but look man the whole problem the problem i have as a, as a, again this is me coming from mm-hmm. a millennial perspective and you guys might have the same perspective mm. for me is everything every sentence every behavior every Con- any, every kind of conduct is being politicized oh does that fall under 100%. conservative or does that fall under liberal does that fall under the red states or does mm-hmm. that fall- you know what i'm saying it's like put on a mask because it's a health thing to do like imagine just that statement if you put on a mask it's it slows the whatever the fuck okay yeah people are like well that's my now it's like politicized and it might be but i'm saying like it didn't need to be and going to your point it's like a statement like people should have livable wages becomes yeah but but at whose whose price and that's now you're a socialist and now you're this it's like that's 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 a new thing i've seen and maybe it was there in the 90s i just didn't notice it at the Mm. time you know Mm -hmm. but can you imagine if you make a statement you're like yeah we should have families be able to buy houses and not have like investors scoop up 60 percent of the property they're like what are you regulation bro what are you all about regulation bro (laughs) what are you about that regulation line (laughs) You're fucking liberal. You're liberal. Go to you go to San you Francisco. Libtard. You libtard. <laughs> yeah. Or if you say something like, and look, I'm gonna give it to the other side too. Yeah. You know, it's like California is fucking squeezing businesses to the point where businesses are leaving. Overregulating. Right. Overregulating. Sure. And yeah. you're like, okay, dude, like, 
I get what you're trying to do, but did we need forty thousand like miles of fucking li like like bike paths <laughs> at the cost of traffic, at the cost of like you know squeezing the people that live here? Yeah, it, it makes you know whatever they do. That's a, go ahead. Even more than bike paths, man. It's like just visually, right? It doesn't make sense where the tax money is going. Yeah. It's like they're squeezing, point, yeah. right? They're squeezing us, and then nothing's actually happening. Yeah, right. The 105 freeway, I mean, you, when were you born? What year? I was born in 84. 84. So um, you, you were too young to know or remember this at all, actually, because it happened in the 80s. You remember it? <laughs> so I was there. Yeah, you, were, you were there. I was there. You weren't, <laughs> there. <laughs> you weren't even conceived yet, bro. <laughs> this guy. He's like, yeah, <laughs> you weren't even conceived. <laughs> he watches a lot of documentaries about the 105 freeway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where I guess he is. I always bring you ahead. How many times have I brought this point up on the pod? Wait, what's the point? The 105 Say freeway. Oh, the 105 yeah. So on the 105 freeway. Oh, my God. In the 70s, they were trying to figure out a way to get fast to the LAX, basically, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so in the 70s, they were trying to figure out a way to get uh, to the L to LAX faster. And so what they decided to do in the 80s was, hey, let's build a freeway and let's take out all these housing, right? And yeah. so they encroached on all these properties, took out their housing, yeah. um, paid them, sure. But they did it in 10 years. So, okay, I give them congrats. That's, that's huge. Building up, I think, 25-mile freeway in 10 years, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah. Comparably to now... I mean, right here on Florence on the five freeway, bro, that off ramp, yeah, that was being done for seven years on off ramp. That's crazy. am I in bizarro world yeah. or? Yeah, you're right about the tax paying money, but we know where our tax money goes. Overseas wars, right? Like yep. the military yes, budget, yep. it's yep. wasted on right. these wars that are right. not necessary. Right. Yeah. Um, we're giving money away to countries that are killing innocent people, which makes no sense.